Welcome, welcome to today's video. Today uh, I want to speak about worrying, which is a choice. And I recently spoke about trust, um, trust on the self-healing series, trust in life. And this is the opposite polarity and it's worrying. And the most important thing on this is we need to understand that we cannot control the outcome of our life situations, but we can interfere with our life situations, right? So it's important to understand, and I'll do a different video on this, uh, the difference between directing energy and observing, observing as a being, being there, right? And so, Worrying is unnecessary. Worrying is a very unnecessary emotion, but unfortunately it can grow into severity as everything. And it can grow into a depression and anxiety and desperation and um, self-punishment in the form of chronic pain. So excessive worrying doesn't just go away because the worrying that's healthy is balanced with trust. Okay, so whenever we get into the spiral of worrying, if we're grounded enough and if we have a healthy trust foundation within ourselves built, then we always find ourselves back in the trust. And that way the worrying is in a healthy amount and it balances your life and then that allows the flow, right? But if it's the opposite, then unfortunately it creates uncomfortableness and chronic pain, which we're talking about here on the self-healing series, on the self-healing journey. And so also important is to understand and this is a belief you can adopt and choose and grow to. But reality is always generous. Okay, me starting the self-healing series, I did not believe that. I believed a lot in lack and in not enough and in I'm different, therefore I cannot achieve what those others have. But the reality is, reality is whatever you believe it is. And this is a point of view I'm introducing here for you. That reality is always generous and you can go over every single situation in your past, in your life. And you can see every situation from the point of view that reality is always generous. And as you grow to this, then obviously your life becomes more generous as this belief becomes more engraved in you. And that starts with the decision if you want to believe this or not. And the, real, the reality is generous means it always presents us with more than we need. Okay, and that's true. <laughs> if you look back, um, you're always, there's always infinite amounts of relationships you can create basically there's always infinite amounts of people there's always infinite amounts of scenarios how your life situations can go right but what we cannot control is the outcome so this is very important and we choose what we want to believe in and so we can choose the same way we can choose to stop worrying and the technique on this is to stop worrying whenever we start worrying. It's quite simple and it can be hard in the beginning or, or in the beginning you might be still worrying. But if your beliefs, if your newly adopted realizations, as is, for example, if you understand that you cannot control the outcome of the life situations, then you understand excessive worrying harms you you're harming yourself with excessive worrying because wherever you focus your energy that grows and if you direct the energy 
into worrying, then it fuels more wor worrying, right? Because it grows. The more you worry, the more you will worry in the future. Of course, this is aligned with or connected to your ancestral line, to your generational story. Of course, if the ones before you in your ancestral line have adopted this coping mechanism because it's a coping mechanism this is how we just cope this is how we instead of allowing our mind to meditate at all times be neutral we implement that worrying we choose to worry so we could choose a neutral state that it, that is being aware of your mind how powerful it is and taking care of it that's cleansing it Right? But instead we choose to worry and if that was a coping mechanism of the ones in your ancestral line, then most probably you have adopted uh, this. It's not inherited, but we by observation and by listening and by seeing things we learn, right? As our brain is developing uh, in the first five to seven years in, of our lives, including in the womb, um, in that time we're most sensitive and we just adopt what we see we can feel so much more um, in the energetical level at that time we can then redevelop this sensibility uh, on the self-healing uh, journey but at that time we adopt the way that our parents have been coping or the ones that surround us whoever's around us we adopt their way of coping and we form ourselves based on our surroundings right and so if their coping mechanism was chronic pain anxiety something um attacks of panic or something like that then we have most probably adopted the same coping way and this is uh the most important thing is to bring awareness to this okay this is how i have it there's a explanation for this but now i choose to change it I choose to stop worrying for myself and that energy can be then focused on something that you actually want to grow because I doubt that you want to grow worrying that then results in some uncomfortableness in your life and this uh, anxiety or depression but unfortunately we fuel this as long as we maintain those coping mechanisms those habits okay and with the way we use our mind, we do follow in these footsteps or we can choose to become aware of what our mind is doing. Okay, so whenever we start worrying, we can stop as simple as it is. And if we can't stop right away, then we can be there, but not interfering, just observing what the mind's doing, allowing it to do its thing, allowing it to worry, but not being the one that gets into it. Okay, you can worry, basically, or you can ex experience whatever emotions in different ways. You can either be a part of it and believe it and grow it, okay or you can be the observer of it and you can allow it to flow and so worrying can be okay in a moderated amount but it should not take over and what worrying will not change the outcome of the situation of the life situation but it will occupy your mind resulting in doing that is not aligned with your being okay so then we source this is what then leads to our action whatever you're doing has to be aligned with the state of your being and it always is but if the state of your being is overwhelmed if this means there's a great example for this this means if you sit down and allow yourselves five or ten minutes of nothingness that's how aligned or not aligned you are in your being if constantly or if immediately you spiral into worrying and into bad case scenarios if you're just sitting like just whatever throughout the day 
suddenly stop the action and you say, now I have five minutes to observe my mind, right? And whatever it is, that's your current state of being. Okay, if your mind is crystal, crystal clear and calm, there's nothing going on. And you're just maybe even, or it can be focused on, on the good things, on like what you're looking forward to. Okay, so whatever is that, that's your current state of being. That's the cure, that's the, where we need to work on. That's the that's a grounding state, right? That's where we work is in the subconscious mind. And this then sources our action. So whatever we do, we're sourcing it in this state of being, in the current state of being. So how overwhelmed your mind is, this overwhelmed your actions will be. And this stressed and this uh, you, you're going to have to keep doing because it can get so overwhelming that you won't even be able to sit down for those five minutes and be there with yourself. Because the worrying and the back scenarios and the mind will keep going. So you ha will have to uh, create an action that will take you out of it because it's too much to handle. And the, ha and the action is aligned with this state of being, therefore it will be suppressing whatever you're feeling because it's too much. You can't handle it, you can't literally handle yourself, right? In opposition, <laughs> opposed to the state where you're calm, your mind is calm, and five, 10 minutes, even an hour sitting peacefully and in the state of meditation, is uh, easy for you and it's natural for you. Therefore, your action will be aligned with this state of being. And it will be, you will know what to do, you will know yourself, you will know your reality, you will know your reactions. You will not have anymore the need for punishing yourself, for creating pain, for creating stressful situations in your life for creating uh, unease, for creating, um, yeah, anything that's triggering. Okay, so those were like the big differences, the big uh, sides, the, the peaks of the polarities. But of course, we want to balance it out. And it's a bit of an exaggeration, but it can be like this in the beginning of the self healing journey, definitely your mind can be overwhelmed and if you've never worked with your mind, then yeah, of course, because we haven't had these tools, we haven't had this, this awareness. And yeah, so it can be your starting point, but you need to understand that it's your choice, that worrying. And no matter how many people in your ancestral line have had this as a great coping mechanism, and it has worked for them, and maybe even your surroundings, your family will still want to be in this coping mechanism and will still carry on with this. For you, it's a choice. You can choose to follow those patterns. Maybe you think it's beneficial for you, therefore you can choose it. But what I'm bringing here is the awareness that it is a choice, right? So you choose how you spend your time, literally all of it. And your time is your energy. Right, so you choose where you direct it. And if you wanna direct it into worrying, then yes, the reality will present you with more and more situations that you need to worry about. If you're gonna say, stop worrying, <laughs> stop to worrying, then you're gonna have less and less situations to worry about, right? It again starts with us. And then it just like snowballs. It, it gathers itself and those are the layers on top of the tension on top of the pain because of course worrying creates tension and tension then creates pain physical pain of the body um, at this point we know that the or right now i've told you that you cannot control the outcome of the situations you can only control how you react to it and uh, how what you feel during those situations. 
not that they're happening, you cannot control them from happening, but how you're gonna um, process them, how you're gonna be in them. You can control your being in them or opposed to excessive doing that is allowed to the overwhelmed being state. And yeah, so worrying is the opposite of trusting life. I talked about trust in the other video, so make sure to check that. And it's a choice to worry. And uh, I'm checking my notes, but that's it for this video. So yeah, um, I hope you choose to worry less because it definitely is a relief and release and ease that will come into your life and i'll see you in the next video so have a great day bye